Hi friends, Sorovir, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about a collection. Collection in PLSQL, one of the most important and demanding topic in Oracle database and in PLSQL uh, language actually. Okay, so what is collection? Collection is a it's a homogeneous single dimensional data structure which is made of elements of same data type. It's called collection in Oracle database. In simple language, we can say an array in Oracle database is called collection. Okay, the structure of PLSQL collections consists of a cell with subscript called index. Data is stored into these cells and can be identified and accessed using index number somehow like this. So here what we have, we have, uh, you know, we have an index number and their respective data. So data is stored somehow like this. Every data has their, you know, uh, their respective index number. So these, this data can be accessed with the, with the index number, what is actually associated with this data. Okay. And uh, unlike other PLSQL collections are strictly one dimensional. Here I have written type of collections. Basically collections are of two types, persistent and non-persistent. What is persistent collection? Those which stores the collection structure with the data physically into the database and can be accessed again if needed. It means persistent collection is something which can be stored into the database with the structure and data so that it is actually it gets stored into the database so we can access it or we can use that collection whenever we need it. Okay. But in the case of non-persistent collection, it only stores data and structure just for one session. It's not getting stored into the database. So we cannot reuse actually. On the basis of above definition, collections are further divided into following type. I have written here. I have drawn a, a diagram for that. Uh, basically, uh, under persistent, we have two different kind of collections. One is nested table. Another one is VRAs and non-persistent is of associative array. So associative array is of non-persistent and nested table and VR is of persistent data type. Okay. So here I have written all three, you know, uh, collections definition. So what is nested table? Nested tables are persistent collection. First point. Second point, it means it can be stored into the database. Actually, it's a persistent type. So it can be stored into the database and can be reused because it's getting stored into the database. So we can use it whenever we want to you know whenever it is needed and uh, nested tables has no upper limits on rows okay it means uh, we can insert n number of elements into nested table collection actually okay now uh, come to v arrays we we used to call it as variable sized arrays as well so variable size sized array or v arrays are also persistent collection obviously it means uh, it can be stored in the database and can be reused because it's a persistent collection type so it can be it can be stored into the database and actually it is stored into the, the database so we can use it when, whenever we want to actually use it and v arrays are bounded in nature here uh, nested table is actually has no upper limit but v arrays are bounded in nature it means we can hold fixed amount of elements in v arrays okay so that's the actually basic difference between v arrays and nested table also we can say okay now the third one is associative array associative arrays are non-persistent collections it means it can not be stored into the database and cannot be reused because you know it's a non-persistent so it cannot be stored into the database and it it cannot be stored into the database so we cannot use it actually these are available in plsql block for one session actually only okay so this is this is the you know definition or introduction of three uh type of collections in plsql i'll explain you all these three type of collection with example in my next tutorial that will help us to understand about the collection in better way okay so that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much